I'm Donna Conrad at Reed Arena. From the moment the Texas A&M men's basketball team stepped on the court Saturday afternoon, their energy was palpable as they readied to host number six Kentucky. Still, of course, looking for their first SEC win. Now, from that opening tip off through the final seconds of overtime, that energy remained exactly the same. The Aggies were able to take down the number six Wildcats 97 to 92. That's one of the things we talked about. Um, we would always start off high energy. Um, it would kind of die down. So at halftime, I kind of told the team, and just let's just come out again and just continue to fight how we've been fighting. And, um, I think our energy, us and the 12th man, kind of overwhelmed them a little bit down the line, and I think that helped us get the win. The offense has been struggling the last two games, but boy, did it get going today. The 97 points scored were the second most points scored in the Buzz Williams era and the most scored against an SEC opponent since joining the conference. Wade Taylor, the fourth and Tyrese Radford led the way, scoring 31 and 28 respectively. We just tell each other to keep shooting. Um, not just us two, just everybody that shoots the ball, honestly. Uh, every night gonna be your night, but one thing that carry over, um, that the coaches uh, harp on is our defense. So we just continue to play, just continue to hoop. The Aggies also welcome back Solomon Washington, who's missed the last two games due to injury, but he made an immediate impact jumping back in the rotation Saturday afternoon. I thought his energy was tremendous. His length, uh, he, he can guard a perimeter player. All of their perimeter players are bigger, faster, stronger than ours. But at least he, when he's on you, it's a push. He can guard whoever you want him to guard, and then he has a presence at the rim on both sides. This win also marks the Maroon and White's first win against the Wildcats since 2018, and the first win of head coach Buzz Williams' career against Kentucky. Nobody that's here has won against Kentucky since anybody's been here, so um, today was another stepping stone that we made. The overtime victory was a display of the grit this team has and what they're capable of at full strength. This felt like a must-win game heading into Saturday afternoon and was the shift in momentum the team needed. We finally in the win, Kyle. You know, um, but I think this is just it's just a momentum swinger as far as like us finally like showing that um, all the things that we're working on and all the things that we're doing is, is the right thing. So I think that's just um, the way we have to look at it. You know, watch film, just correct the things that we didn't do so well tonight, but just continue to just be. Um, thankful for it, for getting the win today. The Aggies will look to use this momentum as they head back on the road to take on Arkansas Tuesday night before heading to Baton Rouge next Saturday for a rematch against LSU. Tip off Tuesday night in Fayetteville is set for 8 p.m. on SEC Network. Reporting from Reed Arena, I'm Donna Conrad.